Ho oh, sweet mama baby jeebus, prepare yourselves for the big cringe fest that is school dances because I can certainly tell you we ain't living in the good old days of high school dances anymore. From middle school to high school, the dances I had with my grade were beyond some of the most awkward experiences I think I ever went through during school and I can say that with confidence that it is something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Hmm, wonderful evening we're having, isn't it? Hmm. Um, it's a little warm in here, haha. Uh, wanna dance? I have a boyfriend. Oh, come on! But hey, I guess not everyone's school dances were all bad, but just for disclaimer's sake, I'ma just say these school dances are all just from my own experiences. So, by all means, roast me in the comments. Hey! <laughs> Growing up when it came to school dances, I would probably have to say I did everything in my power to avoid them, but for whatever reason, always failed. If I didn't have certain friends going to these school dances who more or less would ask me to go as well, so we could suffer together, I would be forced to go because it was more or less frowned upon to miss out on a junior high slash high school dance event. And boy, was that uncomfortable. Back in junior high, every dance I think I would ever go to used to always play out like in the movies, where they would be one side with boys and the other side with girls, just kind of doing their own thing, and the preps would all just be crammed together in the back somewhere just mingling and twerking. Oh wait, twerking wasn't a thing back then. Thank God. But with this divide going on and this awkward atmosphere growing, all it did was enforce the stereotype of school dances and made everyone quite uncomfortable. People would say dumb things by accident, ask each other out and get their hearts broken, and there would usually be some sort of drama or gossip somehow making its way around the entire gym, leaving some room for discussion about the situation, but more or less, it was just all around an unpleasant time. What was going on with me during this time? I would more or less just be hanging out with my small group of friends in the corner, talking and trying to just pretend like this wasn't a school dance, but that's pretty impossible, so yeah. I remember during this time, every now and again, a girl that was in with my small group of friends, who I... <coughs> who I had a crush on? Would always just be mingling with us as we stood around watching some kids make an attempt to do a terrible job at dancing. <laughs> this used to put a lot of pressure on me in my head because all I'd be saying to myself is... Do it, Jordan. Ask her out. Do it. Do it right now, Jordan. She's right in front of you. Do it, Jordan. Say it. Say it now. Say it now, you idiot. Say it! Jordan! Jordan, ask her to dance with you, Jordan! Say it now or you'll regret this for the rest, for the rest of your life, man! You, you better do it now! I'll kill you! Crazy weather we're having, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you like this? Yep, you guessed it. I didn't have the courage to ask her to dance. Mostly though because I was not a good dancer and I did not have the confidence in myself, but that still shouldn't have been a reason to not try. Oh my, why was my self-esteem and confidence so bad growing up? But anyways, let's move on to high school dances, which didn't really get any better. When it came to moving up in the hierarchy of education, the only difference with school dances in high school was that people would sometimes sneak a flask in with them, but other than that, things were still the same. Still the awkward conversations, awkward atmosphere, and more importantly, the awkward tension with my girl friends that I wanted to ask to dance, but got too nervous to do it. I do remember, however, there was this one situation that had happened at a dance one time where a legend in our grade, a man who goes by not that many names, had gotten up on stage, took the mic, and broke the awkward tension by singing his heart out on the stage. And boy oh boy did he have a lot of voice cracks. A lot of people laughed, but many cheered for him. And to that guy, I commend your act of bravery, sir. You will never be forgotten. There is, however, a bright side to this story, as there definitely were times where I would eventually dance with a girl, and it would be quite nice. Fun, even. And the best part was, it felt right. The thing is, we're all awkward growing up. Cringy, even. And chances are, if you're feeling uncomfortable, then everyone else around you is as well. That's why in these situations, it's best to just make the most of it and embrace the awkwardness and live in the moment. Because if there's one thing I do regret looking back in those days, it's that I didn't ask those girls to dance and that I didn't break out of my shell and dance on the dance floor. But hey, it's all a part of growing up and I learned. 
So if you've got a school dance to go to soon and you're feeling pretty uncomfortable about it, force yourself to go. Sure, it's gonna be mega weird and uncomfortable, and yeah, you probably don't got moves like Bruno Mars, but hey, you never know. It could also be one of the most exciting times of your school year. So go live a little, and dance, and be awkward. Because it's all a part of growing up.